Hi, my name is Ola Volo and I'm an artist and I'm originally from Kazakhstan and I love to create murals and illustrations and paintings and I just have a big passion for art. My style of work really resonates around uh, Eastern European folklore. In Kazakhstan, there's this melting pot of cultures from Russian, Polish and Kazakh and so I find a lot of inspiration in those patterns and colors and characters and I try to bridge all those gaps together into my work and you know and bring it to today's world bring it to the streets and that's kind of my approach to my work. Some of the things that I love to explore with my work are female characters and I pull a lot of inspiration from you know the woman around me and the woman that inspire me but I love to sort of create these empowered women who are feeling that they can take up space and take up wall space on the streets and and they can sort of like create uh, the sort of a moment of uh, confidence and sort of take over and have this sort of you could feel their story in their piece I like the person to walk away with a sense of power a sense of sassiness a sense of like this sort of familiarity and that they can relate to this woman but they also want to be this woman in some way and I that's my main purpose I think with my work is that I want somebody to walk away with positivity empowerment this kind of like a sense of that they know this woman or they know this character from somewhere before I like to explore stories and I want the the characters to always take up as much space as possible on the wall I want them to feel like it's their space I want them to feel like they don't need to be small to be, on, to be on this wall. So that's kind of, I guess, my exploration with my characters. One of the moments that made me realize I wanted to create visual art instead of uh, graphic design is I studied art for a long time in university and I found that um, I really was, I wanted to be a graphic designer so bad. I wanted to do something so clean and crisp and very straightforward, but my work is busy. My work is dynamic and I didn't fit into that role and I tried and I tried for three years trying to become a, something I wasn't and something that I that is just not natural to me and when I went back to fine art when I went back to illustration it felt like home like I felt like oh this the people who do it the people who create this kind of work they they feel like me they, they look familiar so I think you always have to find your tribe and I think the moment I saw that I found the people that I could resonate with, I realized it's like a tribe thing. You find your artistic tribe and you're in the right spot. My whole art career has been, it's just been a blast to be honest. It's been a lot of hard work but it's been amazing, amazing to see it thrive and in different forms. I've been doing work on canvas and on walls and illustration and commercial work but all under the same style. So I create this sort of world that I love. But some of the key moments that I felt really elevated my work and made me feel like I could speak louder than my work is really bringing my work to the streets, making my work outside, making it public, making it free and accessible to kids and the elderly and anybody who's passing by. And I think the minute I got to create work that's public, it made me realize how close it was to my personality. Like I. I get energized from people, so I think being in the studio by myself a lot, it, it, it drains me sometimes. And so when I create work outside, it feels right. When you create a piece of art before you even get to the wall, and then you see it come to life on this huge scale, and you're in the process of bringing it back to life, bringing it to life, you get into a certain flow, you get into a certain meditation space, because I use a lot of line work and a lot of black line work, and a lot of patterns that are consistent and take a lot of time. And it really puts me in like a, a space of meditation, to be honest. And I love that, I love that. There's no other way to get there until I'm on this, like on a mural on the wall doing it and kind of living with the people and also getting into that flow. It's really beautiful. When people come visit my work, I hope they come, they feel a bit like a kid. I hope they discover the artwork, they feel intrigued, they feel excited to decipher it, to find things, the little secret, the hidden design, the hidden spots they haven't seen before. And they kind of walk away with curiosity and maybe even like this, like, oh, I want to create something myself. So there's this, there's this sense of, um, I want to pass that 
feeling on that I have pa the passion I have for art to some to the people that see it. So hopefully it hits that way.